this is where I'm going to go. And we're going to see that we have an audio file here. Alright. So, what we're going to do is we're going to right click it. And we're going to copy that name. And come back over to our Oblivion directory. Our Oblivion Nord mail. And we're going to copy that name. But we're going to rename the file extension LIP, which is lip file. And we're just going to drag that on over here. And what that's going to do is every time the game plays and plays this greeting from this person, from this NPC, this lip file will go along with it. All right. So uh, you don't have to save it again as long as it, you can see that it's Save, click OK, and then double click on it again, and you will see that it says wave and lip. So we've got both. Click OK, and continue on with the rest of your dialogue, and do the same thing. Use the CS1, the construction set version 1.0, to generate the lip files, and transfer them into your ES M or your ESP folder um, and you're working with multiple NPCs uh, just be sure to name or be sure to give them each unique voice types so that say you know if we had two NPCs we wouldn't want to give them both un male unique elder lines voice types because then they would be conflicting uh, so like I said I try to use all unique voice types because they don't seem to be used as much and less of a chance of fucking up the dialogue of the game. And uh, it's a very repetitive process, but uh, can be really rewarding when you finally get some characters in the game that have real voiced parts. Um, and if you're a great scripter and uh, otherwise general purpose modder, you can really, I would really love to see some of the uh, content that could be made so which is why I am posting this tutorial I'd love to see new mods and uh, maybe play some very comprehensive mods without having to make mods all the time uh, yeah so that's about it if you have any questions this is my literally my eighth time going through the last part of this tutorial hypercam has been giving me grief um, so I'm sorry if I was a little short if you have any questions email them to me, uh, post a comment, um, contact me on the Nexus, or whatever. That's, you know, that's all fine and good. I'll try to get back with you as soon as I can, if you need help, or whatever. Um, yeah, so, that's about it. I would like to give thanks to some modders, uh, try and fuck with me, help me out a lot with some scripting, uh, back a while back, uh, Sipsis is a, a great contributor, uh, always very helpful to people. Uh, TG Blank, and uh, let's see, I would also like to thank some other people for allowing me to use some of their content in an upcoming mod of mine, a sequel to the uh, CW Labs. So, those people are um, ch -ch 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 Dark Firebird, The Shocker, High Sight, um, Ulrich, Deliverance 666, uh, Staros, uh, yeah, no, not Staros, um, yeah, so, uh, that's about all I got, this is Crow, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll be doing another tutorial on how to create a radio station without completely fucking up every other radio station that exists in the wasteland. Um, so look forward to that. Please subscribe to my videos. And peace out.